All right, we have everything installed as of the suspension wipe. All right, we are going to start with installing the rotor. And we have the inner bearing installed and the bearing seal installed. Next, we got the outer bearing to install. Don't forget the washer. We'll tighten this up. Give it a good spin. Make sure it spins nice and evenly. You're supposed to crush it, tighten it to center the bearing. So now tighten it. And then see where the hole is? Yeah, it's right there. Well, there's two of them. There's one here and there's one here. I didn't know that. Cotter pin goes in, tap it in, and we will bend it over and finish the install. Because I couldn't get the torque power. Not really sure what I'm talking about there. And then don't forget the dust cover. I took a a hole saw and I put tape on it and then I was able to tap it in. Clean it up with some brake cleaner. Now we're ready to install the caliper. We're going to put some slide pin grease on there and install the caliper. The brake pads were a little bit hard to install but it wasn't too bad. Both calipers in and then it took a big Allen key from the inside, and that's how we tightened them down. So the castellation part on this nut is a little skinny, and the ball joint where the cotter pin has to go through is a little tall. So what we're going to do here is just put two washers on, and then that'll bring the castellation part of this up so that the cotter pin will sit through the through the nut. Otherwise you can find another nut. We don't have another nut that's taller so we're just going to go ahead and do it this way. Alright so I torqued the lower ball joint to about 70 and then you just turn the nut until it lines up so we can get the cotter pin in. So now, I'm, so now we're going to do the upper and according to the internet I am going to do it to 50 and then um, there's 50 and then just line up the cotter pin area. We got the front tie rods on and we got it set pretty decently. I just eyeballed it straight for now. No need to really dial it in until it gets in alignment. So everything looks really nice and fresh. So let's put the car on the ground. All right, so I already had the car down once before and it is sitting a little high in the front and I don't know why yet it is the back is sitting a lot lower because i have the control or the upper control arms out right now um they were the wrong ones they were too short so i had to take them out and i sent them back to where i from trick chassis uh, it's sitting up high and i'm not exactly sure why yet um it's not going to stay this way by no means so if I have to get different shocks or some drop spindles or something, these already are the UMI UMI's um, lowering, one inch lowering. So I don't know why the rear is kind of sitting where I want it to. I believe it's still going to be up a little bit once the control arms go back in. Um, so it's, I don't know what it is. And sometimes I know they say that the lower control arms have to be loosened and then set down and then tight, which I have them loose right now. So, um, yeah, I'm a little disappointed right now, but I'm gonna figure it out and do some more research. Um, but we're gonna figure out why it's sitting up high. So stay tuned for that. But as of next, 
We're going to get the motor and the transmission out. I know the, the also it could be sitting up a little bit because of the weight of the transmission's not in there, but I feel that even though that weight isn't in there, it should be sitting lower than what it is. So uh, we're going to get to the bottom of that. But next, we're going to get the motor out, and we are going to clean up the engine bay a little bit. Um, these wheel wells are in actually really nice shape. Um, they're just really dusty right now, but they actually are in really good shape. I don't even think we're going to touch those. The firewall's in really good shape. I don't think we're going to touch that. I might address that cleaner or that uh, heater core box or whatever that is. Um, I might. That's a little bit scaly rust. I might adjust uh, address that, and then um, we're going to paint a little bit on the frame rails here and clean up the center frame rail. So. Um, that's what's going to be next. So then we can get the actual re the the correct 4L80 because I just have the mock-up one in there. So we're going to put the 4L80 in there, and well, I got to order the torque converter, which I'm going to go with a Circle D, and then uh, then I can put the motor and transmission back in there for good. So, um, but that is where we are this week. So my plan is to do at minimum an update of a video a week so that you guys can stay up to date because sometimes i do a lot more during the week that i can and sometimes i can't film as much as i want to um with coming out here just for an hour or two at night and then it's late and then i forget what i do so i figured if i don't do if i do at least one video a week of the current state that it is that i can keep up with what i'm doing in the shop so um, that's the goal as of right now that I decided to do. Otherwise, I will try to piece by piece. So, but uh, yeah, great. I'm glad you guys are here and stay tuned for more. Sounds good. Thanks.